Let your dreams come to be Follow that synchronicity Let your dreams come to be Follow that synchronicity Hello, it's Tommy Cook in the beautiful Juniata, Pennsylvania. I'm here to talk a little bit about synchronicities and how they have helped guide me and change my life. Um, after, for about two years now, I've been seeing these synchronicities and these signs that have been guiding me, and it's the universe guiding me to my purpose, to my destiny. And a lot of times when I see these signs, my ego will tell me, no, 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 you have to do this. You have to run on your self-will and your fear-based will. Go for the money. Go for the fear, essentially. Don't follow these signs that will bring you to happiness. And I can tell you these synchronicities have brought me places that I never would have been able to go without them because I'm the kind of person that's really hard for me to make decisions sometimes and without being able to make these decisions I will stall in fear in fear that I'm not making the right decision and then these synchronicities come and they assure me that this is the decision go for it and even if it's not right just go for it keep on moving don't stand still you know, don't let fear, at least, keep me from moving forward and growing in my journey. And these have come in different ways. I mean, people have told me to read the same book, you know, and then, I mean, it'll be like three times in one week, three people will tell me to read this certain book. Or I will keep on seeing the same city over and over again. And... You know, then I gotta travel there. I gotta see what's going on there. Maybe there's another synchronicity there that will guide me somewhere else. You know, we never know why these synchronicities come, but until I follow them through, will I find out? You know, it could just be leading me to another synchronicity. Life's like one big, sweet, magical maze sometimes. It doesn't have to be a direct reason why I'm going to this city. Like, I need to accomplish something. It could just be for fun. It could just be a magical trip. And one example I'd like to share with you is whenever I first started hanging out with people in the Peaceburg group, and which is a group of people in Pittsburgh that has helped me in my spiritual journey, I was talking to a friend, Kevin, and he told me to meet on Sycamore Street. And at this time, I was really afraid to meet new people. I was really shy, I wasn't sure if, you know, I would fit in, I was terrified. So that night I had a dream, and in that dream, it just repeated sycamore trees, sycamore trees, sycamore trees, sycamore trees, and I woke up and the fear was still there, but it was clear that this is what I was supposed to do. It was clear that it was my purpose, it was my destiny to go to this house and to gather with other Peaceburg members and that night we planned the peaceful gathering of hands which has introduced me to so many people that I still talk to today on this journey and it's it's changed my entire path and if I didn't have that dream who knows if I would have gone the fear might have been too much for me One more synchronicity that has, has guided me about the past two years, and it does on a weekly and sometimes daily basis, is the number 414. Uh, my birthday is April 14th, and throughout my entire life now, I've realized that 414 has consistently shown up in my life. There has been numerous events that have happened on 414. Like life-changing events, some bad, some good. But either way, I look at the number as, a, as my angelic number, showing me that anytime I see it, it's my angels showing me that I'm in the right direction and that I am provided for, I am protected, I am connected, and everything's going to be A-OK -okay all the time. And it kind of just gives me a sense of peace. 
whenever I see it. I mean, I'll see it on driver's licenses. Um, I'll see it on expiration dates. I'll just see it all over the place. And it's not a coincidence the amount of times I've seen it and the amount of events that have happened on that day. And it's just, it's magical. It really is. Whenever I see it, it goes to show me that this world is way more magical than any science fiction movie could ever portray it as. So like I said at the beginning, let your dreams come to be, follow that synchronicity. Let your dreams come to be, follow that synchronicity. Aho!